Hi, this is Kathy from Wisconsin again. I went to the big distributor of fish and products for stores and they said they wouldn't get any Schmelton for at least four weeks. Well, I didn't want any Schmelt if it's from China or someplace, but Canada isn't bad. I told my son to check in the grocery stores and watch for Schmelt. Guess what? Today we found some. This is a package that we got in the store. This is enough for three people at least. I will show you how they, uh, they will be made. This is what they called wild schmelt, but they are from Canada. So I will be showing you how to clean these like I clean them. These are cleaned and beheaded, but I also take the bone out and I will show you what I would do. Now I dump the package of schmelt into a bowl of cold water and as they defrost a little bit I will be taking out the bone and any fins. A lot of people choke on those bones even when they're deep fried. You will see what they look like and how I fry them. Hi, now we are going to show you how to take the bone out of a fish. This is the way I do it. Now, you take one of these fish, and what I do is I cut it all the way up to the table, table, and then I take the little bone out inside like that, and make sure it's all clean, and if there's a little fin sticking out, just pull it off. I don't really like the fins, so I do pull them off. And if some of the skin comes off at the same time, no big deal, you know. And then there's a little thing on the back, too. Sometimes it's huge, so I pull that off. Then I just rinse it in the water and put it back on my dish. Now, let's see. Here's one. It's supposed to be degutted. It still has the guts inside because the machine missed it. So all you do is go up the back all the way. This knife should be a little sharper, but with my hands, I have little problems. Then, I take everything out of the inside of this one. There you go. Ugh. Not too bad. Now, these are what they call wild schmelt. They're not made in somebody's tank or something. There. If some of the skin comes off, that's fine. Then I just rinse that off too and put that on my tray. And that's why you have your tray like this waiting to be fried. Let's do one more. They just don't want to come to me. They want to stay in the water. Ah, that's another one with guts. Let's get a regular one. This is a smaller one, so they're kind of hard to do. I take the knife and I run it the rest of the way up to the tail. Then I take the bone out. See, the bone is out. Okay, make sure there's nothing here anymore, not even at the top. Okay, that one's fine. Then I go, are there any big fins? No, no. Now let's see this one. Eh, I had to get that little guy out of here. Okay, then I wash it off and he is clean. And I'll keep doing that until these are all done. It's, it's not hard to do. And you don't have to worry that if you can't chew a bone, you know, it won't get stuck in your throat. Hey, if you want to see a good video, go to my fruitcake video. On, it's called Christmas Space Fruitcake. And you'll see how I make my fruitcakes. I think I had about 7,000 viewers. Anyway, um... It's by uh, Tiger's Come and his number. So if you want to see that, you might be interested in that also. One cast iron frying pan heating for the beer batter schmelt. There's the dish paper. This one is heating for the flour pepper schmelt. And here we go. This is what I'm going to have to make. And this is just flour and pepper. And I'm mixing up egg and beer. The smelt will go in there, and then go in there, and then in the frying pan. 
flour and pepper only with spices on the bottom. And these are the ones with the beer batter. Alright, just finishing it up, just this many left to finish. And this is what it looks like. Can you tell the difference? Which are the breaded with the beer and just the other one with the flour and pepper. Hi Art, what are we having for lunch today? Smelt and french fries. I was going to make you noodles, but I think fries will go better. Now tell me, there's two kind of schmelt on that place. Taste uh, two different kind and tell me what you think. Okay, this is uh... mm. texture soft, a little crunchy, tastes like fish. Is it a good flavor? Now unless I can have my pound of salt on there. <laughs> Not yet. Taste the other one. All right. Hang on there. The other one. Light, fluffy, crispy. I like them both. You tasted the one on this side, right? Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. And you taste any beer in there at all? No, nah, I taste a little beer, yeah. Okay, that's the beer batter. I was going to wear my Packer shirt. Oh, a pet brought, bought this for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wear it all the time. Well, you wash it in between. <laughs> I don't like sports or anything like that, yeah. but really comfortable shirt. Sure. Okay, now, both of the schmelt are good, right? Um, yep. You like them both? I like them both. Okay, thanks, Art. Now yeah. you can finish eating. Now, this is the mess that I'll have to clean up after I have my schmelt. Can't wait to taste that good schmelt today. Years ago, when the kids were small, people used to give us so much schmelt that we set the kids around in a circle. There was once that we got so much like one of those metal big garbage cans full and we were up hours and hours. A couple of kids would cut off the heads, the other ones would degut them and then I would put them in a bag and put them in the freezer until we're ready to use. Then they'd be deboned and clean. But those were the days. And also when people got too much carp, I would not clean a carp. They would bring the carp here, we cut off the heads and the guts and I chop them up and I would put them in jars and can them and it tasted just like red salmon when you open it. Oh, that was delicious. Those were the days.